Hello everybody and welcome back and in this story we will continue with some of the other options that Nmap allows us. Now you might be asking why are we covering all of these options for Nmap? Well basically it is a really important tool and knowing all of these options will make you uh, at least 50% better in penetration testing since scanning is a really important part of performing an, a penetration test. So let us right here just open up our terminal let me make it this big and in the other terminal right here i will open up the commands once again nano commands.txt where i will write all of the nmap uh, commands that we cover in this particular tutorial so let us just type here once again nmap and the first thing we want to uh, check out is the minus pn command. Now we can find it right here. Or, for example, let's say you can't find a specific command in these bunch of the commands. You can just type here nmap and then grep minus pn. Just find here minus minus pn. And it will show us not like that, I did not want that to happen. Let me just... Oh yes, on nmap dash dash help grep pn. No, why doesn't that... Nmap dash dash help. Yeah, never mind, uh, for some reason that worked yesterday but doesn't want to work now so it doesn't really matter just find the command right here let me just find it it should be minus capital P and then N here it is treat all hosts as online skip host discovery now this is an important command you might be asking why well some of the hosts that you scan on the network can appear to be offline so, for example, if you know a specific host must be running and is online, but let's say you scan it right here, and it says that it is offline. Now, this is my laptop, so it will say that it is online at the moment. But I've had some scans that basically said that my machine that I was scanning, which was right next to me, and which was connected to the, uh, to the network and running, uh, basically said that the host was down, and every time, I specify the minus pn option. It basically skips the host discovery and uh, as it says treats all hosts on the network as if they were online. Which will perform the scan and it will give you the results without, uh, without host discovery. So let's f say for example I scan this IP address which I don't have anything running on it, so it will say that the host is down, as you can see right here, zero hosts up. This will be the same output for the machine that is running, but it is blocking the ping requests, or it is showing other machines that it is offline. So in that case, you just specify the minus pn option, and then you specify the IP address, and it will show as if it is online. Now, in my case, it won't show since I don't have anything there, so let me just scan my laptop once again. I just typed here nmap-pn and then 192.168.1.8 and it will skip the host discovery and it will basically automatically say that my host is up and running and it will scan for its open ports. Now, let me just see. It has finished around 22%. You might notice that this scan is going a little bit slower. So we won't be waiting for that to finish, there is no point. Or we can just leave it right here, perhaps it finishes while I type it right here. So minus pn and then the IP address, basically the IP address of any machine that you're scanning or any website that you're scanning. Of course, try not to scan the websites that you do not have permission on. You can always use the scanme.nmap.org, which we have permission to scan by nmap. Or you can basically just use the Metasploitable virtual machine that we installed 
or you can install basically any other virtual machine that you will use in order to scan and the end attack. Now since I can't really run the Metasploitable, I, it gives me some error, I downloaded another virtual machine that will show you how to install and I will show you why we will use it. Basically we will use it extensively in the uh, website penetration testing part. I'm not really sure if Metasploitable has uh, OWASP in it pre-installed. I doubt, so you can check out if it has that, then you don't need to install this virtual machine as well, but if it doesn't, you should install this virtual machine as it is vulnerable and it is used for web penetration testing. So we will cover some of the attacks on the websites using this machine. But let us see right here, as you can see the the scan has finished and it treated our host, it was up and it discovered an open port. It also gave us back the MAC address. So it is a useful command if you know that the host is running and it is showing that it is offline. You just type here minus pn and you will have your host scanned. Now the next option I want to show you, which I didn't show you before, if we type here nmap, would be the minus st command. If we go up here and find the minus st, you can see that it is basically a full TCP scan. Let me just find it. Right here we have the su, s, n, ss, here it is. We can see a bunch of these options. We will only cover first uh, these three basically, but for now on let us just cover the st which if you look right here, it is basically a connection. Now, by connection, it means that the, uh, it performs the full three-way handshake in order to scan the target. Now, as we talked before, uh, the TCP connection requires three-way handshake, so let me just open up a paint so I can show you better. For example, let's say you have a PC right here, And you have another PC right here. These are basically just laptops. Since I'm not really sure how to draw PCs, let us just... This is PC A. And this is PC B. Let's say the PC B is your target. And you scan from the computer A. Now, in order to... When you use the minus ST option, so minus st option, it basically performs a three-way handshake scan with the TCP, which is basically us sending a bit set called sin then the other machine is sending us the bit set called sin ack, which is basically same as sin In order for you to learn more about this and to know what I'm talking about right here, you should read more about the TCP and UDP scans and TCP and UDP connections. I talked briefly about it in the previous tutorials, but you might need to know a little bit more in order to understand how these scans work. So, but it is not that complicated and then the scan finishes with only ACK. I don't have where to write it, but this, that is basically the three-way handshake. So it is sin, sin ack, and then once again ack. Why is it called three-way handshake? Because it is consisted from three parts, as you can see right here. Sin, sin ack, and then once again ack. Just ack. So the minus st option in nmap performs all of these three, and therefore it can be detected on the target machine as you perform the full connection on the system, but it is also more accurate option for scanning, since if you were to complete only the scene, it wouldn't be able to gather as much information and as accurate information as you would be able to gather with the full TCP three-way handshake. But for if you want your target to not be able to detect you, you shouldn't be using the minus st since it is very detectable, as I said, since you use the full TCP handshake. So let me just type here nmap minus st 
and then we can just type here d192.168.1.8 and it will basically give us the same output as this option right here but here you specified it to use the full three-way handshake and this is the option that will give you the most accurate and precise results so let me just see here it is it finished with the same result as the previous scan so we have one tcp open port so let me just write it right here and map minus st 192.168.1.8 so we covered the full tcp connection scan now the next thing you want to basically cover is the minus ss scan so let me just open up here minus ss is only the first part of the minus st let me just explain that a little bit better as you can see the minus st is a full connect and the minus ss is the tcp only sin bit set so basically in order for us to scan we will only be sending this first part of the three-way handshake that's why it is specified as minus ss the capital s stands for sin right here now the thing about sin scanning is it isn't detectable on the target host so this is uh, you can use that option in order to prevent the target from detecting your scan because it won't really complete the handshake but it is less accurate and it can also be detected by your ips now we will talk in the next tutorial how to avoid the ips detection and how to avoid some of the defenses that could be implemented into your router for example in order to block uh, or send uh, false information onto your nmap scan so let us perform the ss scan here we will basically type here nmap minus ss and then the ip address of our laptop or basically any machine or website that you are scanning this is a little bit taking a little longer than the minus st scan probably because it takes a lot longer time in order for it to gather the same information that it gathered while using the full tcp handshake scan so we will wait for this to finish in order to see what the results are and if they are the same as the minus sd option so while this is running i will just type here minus ss 192.168.1.8 now while this is 45 percent okay while this is doing let us recap so minus pn option as we said is used when the hosts appear down the minus st option is a three-way handshake tcp connection to the host and it is detectable and more accurate and minus ss scan performs the only first part of the three-way handshake which is the sin part it is not detectable on the host it is less accurate and it can be detected by your IPS. So as we can see the scan has finished and it gave us the same output as the minus ST scan, which is good. We have one open port and we have the service running on it. So let us just type here once again nmap. There is one more option I want to show you before we finish this tutorial, which is the minus SU option. If we go right here, you can see the minus SU option is basically only UDP scan. All of these three options, well basically all of these five right here, perform the TCP scan or basically a part of TCP scan, as well as some of these right here. But if you specify the minus SU option, it will only perform UDP scan. Now, as we talked before, UDP is connectionless and we won't have any confirmation that the packets arrived at our target. It is not consisted of three-way handshake or basically it is not consisted of any ha handshake. We simply, with UDP, just send packets to the other hosts and hope that they go get there intact and whole. So, let us just right here use the UDP scan. So we specify with the minus SU option, U stands for UDP, and we type here our IP address. Let us see how long this will take. As we can see, it won't finish that fast. This is also a slower scan. 
So while that is doing, let me just write it right here. So we can see which ones we covered. And my advice would be to use minus ST when it doesn't really matter if hosts detect you and if you are performing a penetration test, for example, where the target shouldn't be able to detect you, you can use the minus SS scan. Or you can use some of the scans that are some of the options for scans that I will show you in the next tutorial in order to make your scan even less detectable. So let me just see where this is at. It is at 62%. So I will cut the tutorial right here and I will show you the output of this command in the next one as well as some of the other options that we will cover. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.